What's going on people, Switchbrew here and welcome back to another video tutorial. So in this following tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to do is create custom launch icons for in Hecate. So if you don't know what custom launch icons are, what I'll do is I'll switch over to my phone camera now and explain what I'm talking about. So I'm going to switch over to my phone camera now guys and I'll see you in a second. So guys, as you can see, we're now on the Nintendo Switch console and we're in Hecate at the moment. So if I go ahead and click launch in Hecate, as you can see, I've got three icons here. I've got one for custom firmware, one for stock and one to boot into lockpick. So basically what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to set these up. Now, these following shortcuts, if you can call them that, the setup via your Hecate underscore ipl.ini file which i'll be showing you later on now everybody's hecate underscore ipl ini file is set up differently usually but basically what i'm going to be showing you how to do is how to set these images and hopefully you'll be able to follow along and set them up for yourself so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and switch back to the computer and show you guys what to do so i'm now back over onto the computer and i'm going to be showing you how to put these icon files on your nintendo switch console so you can use them in hecate as little icons so first things first you'll need to either download some icons or you will need to make some icons yourself if you're making the following icons yourself sorry you'll need either something like photoshop or gimp to be able to make the following icons so in photoshop if you were creating these in photoshop for example or in gimp if i go to file new the width of the following icons needs to be 192 the height of the icons needs to be 192 and i just keep the resolution as 72 and that's pixels dash inch so i'm going to close this down now and as you can see here, I've made three custom icons. I have made three new custom icons to match the background image in Hecate. So I'm just going to show you these now. So here is the icon for stock. Here is the icon for custom firmware. And here is the icon for lockpick. So as mentioned, you can create these icons yourself or you can download some icons from google if you type in hecate launch icons i believe if you look through github and stuff like that you'll be able to or gba temp even you'll be able to find some custom icons these following ones that i've made if you want them i can put them down in the video description and i can also put the background image in the video description if you like so once you've got these guys, what you then want to do is transfer them onto your Nintendo Switch console. So first thing you want to do is plug either your SD card into your computer or mount your Switch to your PC via the USB-C cable. Once you've done that, you want to open the root of your SD card. So as you can see here, I've got the root open and these files need to go in a specific folder. And this folder is you need to go into bootloader and you need to go into res basically what res is it stands for resources so uh, this is what you'll where you'll need to put the following files but before putting the following files in there they are currently a png format and that's what i save them save them as sorry originally but they'll need to be converted to a bitmap image now to convert these to a bitmap image i use the following website here this will be the down sorry in the description also so before uploading the following images you want to change the color range to 32 true color rgba once you've changed that to that you can go ahead and click add image or add images and what i'm going to do is add the following three images to add the following three altogether i'm going to hold control and highlight them all and then just go ahead and click open so what i'm going to do now is pause the video let these convert and i'll come back once they're done so guys, the following images have now converted to the bitmap format. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and download them one by one. So this is the custom firmware one. I'm going to save that to the desktop then download the lockpick one. Again, save it to the desktop. And finally, the stock image, download that and save it to the desktop. Once that's complete, what I'm going to do then is go ahead and rename the files. Now, 
I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying the stock and the custom firmware image when setting up your Nintendo Switch, for example, for the first time and putting the bootloader folder on there for Hakate, there's already two image files in there called one of them's called icon underscore stock dot bmp and one of them's called icon underscore payload dot bmp i believe so the stock of the custom firmware one what i tend to do is rename that exactly the same as them ones and then basically i follow the same rule for the lockpick one so for example stock i'm going to go ahead and rename this to icon underscore stock and then the custom firmware one i'm going to rename this to icon underscore payload drag that up there and then for the lockpick one um again i follow the same rule so i'm going to put icon underscore lockpick and that's all the following files your name so i'll just drag them over here for you guys so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the bootloader and res folder and I'm going to highlight these and copy them across because I already had some um, custom icons on there. I'm going to replace them with the new ones that I've made. So it obviously says, yep, you need to replace the free files that are currently already in there. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace the file destination. Now, just by putting these icons in this following folder, they still won't work. You need to go ahead and edit your Hecate underscore IPL dot INI file, which is located in the bootload folder. And if I go into that, as you can see, it's here. So as you could see previous on the video, I had three options. I had my custom firmware op option, my stock option, and my lockpick RCM option. Now you can see under each one of these, I've got a path set up to point to the Im uh, specific image file what I want. So for example, custom firmware, I've got icon equals bootloader dash res dash icon underscore payload dot BMP. For stock, I've got icon equals bootloader dash res dash icon underscore stock dot BMP. And then for lockpick, I've got icon equals bootloader dash res dash icon underscore lockpick dot BMP. So basically all this is doing is pointing each um, launch option towards the image file so as stated previously a lot of people's hecate underscore ipl dot ini files might be a bit different to this but hopefully you can look at this and follow along and work out what you need to do to get the custom logo set so once you've got these set up i'll leave this on, up on the screen for two seconds or you so you can pause the video and look at it and i'll also put the following uh, paths down in the YouTube description as an example. So once you've done that, what you can do is go ahead, obviously, if you've edited it, go ahead and click save. And then what you want to do is go ahead and restart Hecate on your console and head over to the launch section. And hopefully the following logos will have been applied. If you have any issues with this, you can contact me on Discord. If you want any custom logos making, if you message me on Discord, when I get some spare time, I should be able to do this for you. Not a problem. So yeah, if you want any custom logos making, just give me a message. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, restart my Nintendo Switch console, and I will switch over to my phone camera to show you that the new logos have been applied to my Nintendo Switch. So I'll see you over on the Switch, guys. So guys, we just booted into Hecate after the restart on the Nintendo Switch console. If I go ahead now and go and click on launch, as you can see, we've now got the new custom logos in Hecate, which we transferred over. So if you like the video, guys, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification to get notifications of when I upload on the channel. If you guys have any issues whilst doing this, you can go ahead and drop a comment in the video or you can go ahead and add me on Discord and I'll try and help you the best I can. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.